Hello, I'm Jerome Barjakowski with D3 Engineering. I am the Autonomous Systems Product Line Manager, and today I'm going to talk about D3 Engineering's surround view system. On this car here, we have set up a surround view system from D3 Engineering and Texas Instruments. It is running on a TI TDA3 processor on one of D3 Engineering's RVP TDA3X Rugged Vision platforms. The system takes inputs from four cameras around the car. The cameras are using D3's rugged camera module, and the data is sent via FPD link to the ECU inside of the car. There is one camera here in the front of the vehicle, one camera under each mirror, and one camera in the rear of the vehicle. All of the cameras have a greater than 180 degree field of view, and the images from the four cameras are stitched together to create a bird's eye view around the car and different perspectives around the car, usually used for low speed maneuvering and parking scenarios. You'll also see on the front of the car there's a couple other demonstrations. They are not currently part of the surround view system, it is just this front camera here and the cameras around the vehicle. So here we're showing the surround view system uh, from D3 Engineering and Texas Instruments. Uh, this is a four camera 3D surround view running on a Texas Instruments TDA3 processor inside of D3 Engineering's Rugged Vision platform. So the system right now is, is set up to show two views on the screen, a surround view system and a rear view slash trailer hitch uh, camera. So both of these scenarios use different regions of interest of the camera. Uh, the surround view is using the four cameras around the car to stitch the image together, and the rear view and trailer hitch cam uh, views are using regions of interest from the rear camera. Uh, all of these views and things are generated inside of the TDA3 processor from TI, and this is all done without a GPU, and all done in a fanless uh, rugged vision platform from D3 Engineering. So here we're showing the uh, surround view system from D3 Engineering and Texas Instruments running on a TDA3 processor. Um, this system is running with four cameras around the car that are running on D3 rugged camera modules. Uh, the system shows three views. It shows a surround view, and then it shows from the rear camera a trailer hitch and a backup camera. So the system right now is set up to be able to cycle through different views based on a user input. Um, in production, you would actually tie this user input to something like a position sensor, uh, ultrasonic-based or radar-based, and you could actually detect vehicles or pedestrians around the car and change the view to whatever is the best use case for the operator. Uh, so right now we are cycling through nine different views uh, that vary between side views of the car, overhead view, front view. Uh, and again, it's set up for, for low speed scenarios like this uh, parking lot type of scenario or low speed traffic in the city. Uh, all of the cameras around the car are greater than a 180 degree field of view. I believe they're actually 194 uh, for each of the cameras, so fisheye lenses. Uh, and the way the surround view works is that the images are combined from the four cameras, one in the front of the car, one under each mirror, and one in the back, uh, and it's stitched together and then projected onto a virtual plane. Uh, the car in the, in the uh, view that you're seeing in surround view is a 3D model uh, made to look exactly like the vehicle at the proper dimensions, proper colors, and aspect ratios. As we're driving around here, you'll notice that the uh, exposure changes on the cameras. Right now there is a four camera harmonizing auto exposure. Um, this actually helps blend the different exposures between the different cameras together and pick a best exposure for the entire surround view scene. Uh, 